Hi again, it's Rob with Quad Logic. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit about our speed sensors today. Working on a 2003 Sportsman 400 again. This one has had erratic movement of, on the speedometer. So that's generally a speedometer sensor. Could be the gauge, but more than likely it's a speedometer sensor. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out today. Uh, what I'd like to do is show you a bit of the key features of the Quad Logic speed sensor versus the original OEM sensor. Now this is a Hall Effect style sensor. It's mounted on your wheel. We'll show you where it's at, right behind the brake caliper. And um, the main difference is this is an OEM sensor. This is the Quad Logic sensor. They use a plastic housing, which just does not fare well. Mud, dirt, rocks, off-road debris. They can crack, they can get damaged. So they do go bad quite often. We've went ahead and made a billet aluminum body for our sensor, so it's gonna withstand any abuse you can throw at it. Um, the sheathing, they use a sheathing that can crack fairly easily, so we went to a more durable sheathing on ours and actually heavier gauge wires. It's a pretty common occurrence to have the wires actually crack as well. So the Quad Logic version has heavier gauge wires as well. It's all solid state circuitry. It's made here in the U.S. This is a very high quality unit at similar to better pricing of your cheap OEM version. So we'll go ahead and now show you how to change that up. So your speed sensor is located right on the caliper bracket and that'll be for just about any Polaris ATV from about 2000 to 2010, 2011 range. So if you take off the front right tire, you'll see on your caliper bracket, it's mounted right here by one bolt. And how this works is it's a, it's a magnetic sensor that senses the series of holes in your brake rotor. That tells it how fast it's spinning and calculates it onto your speedometer. So this one apparently is bad, so we are gonna remove it right now. Go ahead and remove this one screw. Okay, and that's your sensor. Now it runs through the loom, up through the chassis, to the back of your speedometer. So what we're gonna do next is remove the rack, the center console, and then the top half of your speedo pod. All right, now that we got all that removed, uh, we got the pod open. This is the back of your speedometer. This is the set of wires for the speed sensor. So it's just held down there by one clip. Just need to pop that out like so and feed it down through. There will be some zip ties and whatnot holding in place. So cut those, feed this down through and we will start installing the new speed sensor. Okay, now we've got our old speed sensor removed. We're about to put our new Quad Logic speed sensor in place. Um, before you do that, what you wanna do is just take a good check at your rotor to make sure it's not warped, because a warped rotor will move in and out and could contact the speed sensor. So if it's warped, you're gonna to wanna to replace your rotor. Well, we'll start on the wheel side here. There's a hole that fits into, and then you simply bolt it back in place like the stock one. Okay, once that's tight, you want to get your head in here and make sure there's a small gap. It's usually about three, four, five millimeters between the end of the sensor and the rotor. You want a little air gap there. And then you can run the wires back up through the machine just as the old ones had come out. Okay, we've fed it halfway through the chassis. Now we got to get it up around the handlebars into the back of the handlebar pod. There it comes. 
making sure it doesn't get pinched anywhere. Now, we simply plug it in place of the old one. This does have a waterproof connector on it and it'll snap right into place. Then we can close the pod, making sure not to pinch any wires. Button this all back up together, put your wheel back on, then you want to take it for a quick test ride, make sure your speedometer is working properly again. Uh, that's it on the speed sensor. If you have any questions, www.quad-logic.com or 651-983-7823.